What are you doing? Let go of me. Come on, back off. You're being way too rough. Shut up. This is not what we talked about. You're hurting me. Johnny wasn't attacking me. He was trying to save me. Some guy came out of nowhere, and I tried to fight him off, but he was way too strong. Look, I was on my way to Kelly's, and I heard screaming. So I ran down here, saw Maxie struggling with this guy. So I taught him a lesson. Where is he now? Ran off. This is unthinkable. You could have sustained serious trauma. No, it's okay. I'm fine now. It's, uh, I'm a little shaky, but it's done. Thanks to the timely intervention of the mob prince. Timing's everything. Yeah, and clearly the jackals is sorely lacking. Maxie, I have failed you egregiously. You you warned me that this could happen. You you even asked for my protection, and I left you alone to face deadly peril. Look, an, an, a mere apology is not even cannot even begin to express my abs. I don't want you to feel bad. That's the last thing I wanted. I knew you would come, Spinelli, and you did. Yeah, but Johnny came first. So now I have to set aside my self-disappointment and thank the mob prince for his timely intervention now if you could take maxi home no you could take me no no you've endured enough indignity just go with the one who affected your rescue i'll stay here and look for clues as to the identity of your attacker smell you don't have to do no that. i know it's but a paltry effort but being that i could not protect or defend you it's the least i can do Blonde around here anywhere? I actually know several that fit that description. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. Yeah, I should have known better than to trust a magazine chick. A ma magazine chick? Yeah, the crazy broad wanted me to stalk her. Uh, I'm sorry. C could you provide further clarification? Uh, it was a setup to some guy she knows come stumble on the scene and play hero. Now, I wasn't interested at first, but she said the idiot couldn't hurt a fly, so. Guess she changed her mind. Such an idiot. Big news flash, right? I thought I came up with the perfect plan, but it could not have gone any worse. Plan to do what? You know how Spinelli is always saying that he wants to feel manly? Well, I wanted to be the person who made him feel that way, so I hired someone to stalk me. You gotta be kidding me. I was waiting for the guy that I hired to show up when that freak you jumped showed up instead. And really attacked you. I hate to think what would have happened if you hadn't been there. <laughs> Why is it whenever I need help, you are always around? beyond grateful for what you did at the pier. It's all the rest of it I'm not so sure about. Mm. So why don't you think about it? What does that mean? I'm asking you. How I feel about you? Yeah. Okay. I like you. I think that you're sexy and edgy and pent up. You're explosive, like we saw tonight, so obviously I'm attracted to you. <laughs> but I love Spinelli. He's my best friend, and I'm doing everything I possibly can to try to get us back on track, so I... 
really don't want to do anything that would jeopardize that. And if Spinelli weren't in the picture? Then we would still have Lulu. And yes, she gets on my very last nerve, but Lulu is like the closest thing I have to a real friend who isn't related to me. So I would have to kiss that goodbye and we would have to subdivide the apartment again. No offense, I just, I don't think just jumping into bed with you to see what it would be like would be worth the cost. But if you asked me again tomorrow, my answer could change. Muddy the waters with your pre-planned prevarication. Just give me an honest answer if you are capable. Did you set me up? To need some privacy. Hey, you remember that speech you gave me about Maxie, how special she is? She needs to be cherished. I hope you can follow your own advice. Okay, um, the guy that you talked to was obviously the photographer's assistant that I know from work, but I just wanted you to see me in danger, Spinelli, so that you wanted to help me. Well, and since you have zero faith in my ability to do that, you hired someone to pretend to be hurt by my ineffectual efforts. The fact that you went to such lengths to, to dupe me into thinking that I could be your hero when clearly Johnny will forever claim that title is both saddening and distressing. No, Spinelli, that's what you're missing. Yes, Johnny might have saved me tonight, but you saved me first. Every day, by just believing in me. So yes, I'm going to lie and bribe and do whatever it takes to get you back in my life because I miss you. I miss the person who makes me believe that I'm actually a good person. I, I miss the guy who makes me laugh and look forward to what the day might bring. I miss the guy that I love most in this world. And I'm tired of you shutting me out. Please, Spinelli, just come back to me. The only thing that today proved was how easily you can still manipulate me. I'm sorry, Maxie, but I won't hang around waiting for the next time you need a stooge. Down on me. 